Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. From shipwreck to wordplay, Booksmith's lit-themed events energize readers of all ages. Amy Stevenson from Booksmith and Stephen Westall of Right Club SF join me now. Thanks for coming on. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. us. Sure. All right, so Booksmith, it's been around for a long time, since 1976. Yeah. Yeah, 1976, um, and it got um, it got bought in 2007 by some new owners, Kristen Evans and Praveen mm -hmm. Madan, um, and they really made it their mission to kind of reimagine the, what the bookstore could be and what it could do. So they remodeled and they um, really curated our selection and they really, really revamped our events program. And it's not an average bookstore. I mean, you go in, it's an experience, right? It's an experience. We, we, we're trying to, you know, we want to be a destination for people. We want people to come to the hate to see the booksmith and um, how beautiful it is on the inside and how energetic we all are about what we do and how we sell books. Are there unique books there that you may not be able to find anywhere else? Definitely. Um, we have a really, really um, amazingly curated selection. Um, the buying process is really um, collaborative. Everyone who works there is involved in what books go on the shelves and we all look at the catalogs and talk to the publishers and you know, what we what is in the store is what we believe in and what we really want to be there. So. And you host many events. We host many events. So we host uh, 300 events a year through Booksmith alone. Um, and That's then we also, amazing yeah. when you think about it. 300 a year? It's staggering. Yes. Um, yeah, and then we also have a Berkeley Arts and Letters arm and um, some events in the South Bay, so a total of about 500 altogether, yeah. And this is one of the events? Yes, this is uh, this is Shipwreck. As you can see, it's uh, packed, packed house. We have people hanging off the rafters, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like a lot of fun. So, yeah. Steve, you're with Right Club SF. What is that? Uh, right Club SF is a franchise of the national organization Right Club, which began in Chicago. Okay. Uh, there's chapters in Atlanta and Los Angeles, as well as here in San Francisco. It is a competitive writing format that also serves as a philanthropic uh, donation center. So uh, we typically book six writers who are then paired off into writerly bouts. Uh, each writer is given one half of a diametrically opposed set of prompts, such as up versus down or left versus right. They have a few weeks to prepare a seven minute piece that they then present uh, underneath a, a large timer counting down every second of wow. those seven minutes. The microphone is snatched from your hands. Uh, if you're not done with your piece, then the audience doesn't hear the end of your seven minutes. Uh, at the end of the seven minutes uh, of each writer, uh, the audience votes on which of the two writers did a better job, and one third of our door proceeds goes to that winning writer's charity of choice. Now, are these professional writers or amateurs? All or sorts. Kids? Uh, 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 we have not yet uh, gotten into uh, doing a uh, uh, right club for kids here. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, Atlanta franchise uh, partnered with a writing organization at the University of Georgia Athens and did the first ever uh, kids' right club. Uh, there, uh, but uh, it ranges from novelists to poets to stand-up comedians. Uh, we've had uh, a word, uh, a sound poet, mm -hmm. who uh, just basically uh, deconstructed the prompt into phonemes and, and sounds. Uh, myself and my business partner, Casey Childers, uh, in order to keep some skin in the game, in addition to hosting the show, we also compete monthly. Oh, wow. Uh, Casey's a novelist. Keeping I'm a that playwright. brain working, right? <laughs> yeah, to, uh, to, to give yourself the task of every uh, month writing a new seven minutes arguing a different subject. And uh, these are the kind of events that Booksmith is really known for. Yeah. Hosting these kinds of events. Exactly. Um, we like to have a social component to our events, meaning we like to have people gathering in the bookstore and um, you know it's, it's really important to me personally that our events program be really accessible to everybody. I personally didn't grow up with a very literary family so bookstores can be intimidating and we want our events to be um, accessible to everybody, fun, celebrate reading, writing, the culture of books um, and we just want people to have a good time. And there's really a sense of community with it. Yes, um, I, I really think so. Uh, people start with our events. They come to Shipwreck because they hear the words literary erotic fan fiction, and then they're customers for life. So it's really exciting. So you have authors showing up. We uh, do. Um, we do authors on book tours, standard, you know, one person at a podium speaking to a crowd, um, and those are also a lot of fun, and yeah. Okay, so there was a launch of BookSwap. Community forums, wordplay? Yes. What's wordplay? Wordplay, um, we take six writers and we split them into two teams. And then I uh, MC them through a series of literary themed parlor games. So we play um, a literary version of Taboo, for instance, or categories, or um, just a whole range of things that are really interactive and rowdy. And there's people shouting at them and, <laughs> and they're <laughs> thinking on their toes. Steven's done it a few times. Yes, yeah. my <laughs> favorite, my favorite uh, uh, event uh, in the game, uh, uh, Caveman Book Reviews. Yeah. <laughs> where you have to get the audience to guess a well-known book using only single-syllable words <laughs> with no verb. How do you no do verb, that? Uh, <laughs> ma man go store 
by hair tool wife cut hair by man chain for watch uh hmm yeah <laughs> which book is this i don't know Oh, that's uh, the, the gift of the Magi. Gift of the Magi. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So you really use social media, right, to yes. connect to everyone as well. Yes, um, I run all the social media at the store as well. Um, so uh, we're You're really, really, busy. really, I'm a busy person. <laughs> yes, I'm a busy person. Um, we're very active on Twitter. Um, we're at Booksmith on Twitter, obviously. Um, and we have a lot of fun. We live tweet almost all of our events, especially wordplay and shipwreck. Well, 300 a year, you have to get the word out. Exactly. So. All right. Well, that's great. It sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. We have to come down there. We're having a good time. Join yes, us. thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you. And for more info on shipwreck and other Booksmith events, please log on to booksmith.com. Again, that's booksmith.com. Coming up, we'll learn about at-home HIV testing from the one and only Ross Matthews.